Hi there, and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we'll be trying to solve some questions on factorial. Now, by definition, a factorial is simply the multiplication of consecutive positive integers in descending order such that each term differs from the previous by one until one. So, in essence, I'm saying this. If I have a figure or a number such as 4 factorial, 4 factorial is simply equal to, we said it is the multiplication. So, I'm doing multiplication. That's number one. Number two, we said of consecutive positive integers. An integer is simply a positive or a negative whole number. So, I'm multiplying positive whole numbers, and we said in descending order. So, if I'm multiplying positive whole numbers in descending order, in descending order from 4, I have 3 and then 2 and then 1. So, it becomes, um, starting from this, it becomes 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. We stop at 1. That's why we said until 1. All right? Also, if I have 3 factorial, that also becomes the multiplication of consecutive terms in descending order, which becomes 3 times 2 times 1. Of course, until 1. So we have this. So this is the concept about factorial. Now, if you observe this clearly, we can see that 4 factorial, we said is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. But we already said 3 times 2 times 1 is the same thing as what there? 3 factorial. In essence, all of this is simply 3 factorial. That means 4 factorial is equal to 4 times, all of this gives you 3 factorial. So 4 factorial is 4 times 3 factorial. Now this tells you that a particular factorial can also be expressed as the multiple of another factorial, of course, of a lower figure. In essence, we can say that 7 factorial is equal to 7 times 6 times perhaps 5 factorial. This is also correct. All right. Let's use this concept to solve this question. So if you have this question here, how do we solve this? This is equal to 10 factorial all over 7 factorial times 2 factorial times 3 factorial. This is the same thing as me saying, I can express 10 factorial in terms of 7 factorial. Of course, in descending order, 10 factorial becomes 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. At this 7, now you can put 7 factorial. This is correct, all right? So you can do this in descending order, and any number you stop, you can just add a factorial. That is correct. This now becomes all over. This becomes 7 factorial multiplying 2 factorial multiplying 3 factorial. Now, the reason why we do this is such that the idea here is that you express the greater factorial in terms of perhaps a lesser one. So the idea is this, I'm trying to express 10 factorial in terms of what? Uh, three uh, I'm trying to express 10 factorial in terms of 7 factorial so that they can cancel out. In essence, from here, 7 factorial can cancel 7 factorial. And I'm left with this is equal to 10 times 9 times 8. This gives you, no matter gives you 720 all over 2 factorial is same thing as 2 times 1. Multiplied by 3 factorial is same thing as 3 times 2 times 1. Of course, in descending order until 1. Working on this, this is equal to, I'm having 720 all over 2 times 1, 2 times 3, 6 times 2, 12. So all over 12. So we have 720 over 12. If I punch 720 divided by 12, my answer here is 60. So therefore... The answer to this question is 60. All right? All right, with this concept, please, this is question two. Try to solve question two and leave your answer in the comment section. So if I have 14 factorial over 12 factorial, your tax is simple. Express 14 factorial in terms of 12 factorial. When you're done, cancel out the 12 factorial and provide your answer in the comment section. All right? If you enjoyed this video, simply like this video, okay? So leave a thumbs up. All right. Leave a comment. Tell us the answer of this question in the comment section and I'll see you in, an, in my next class. Thank you and see you in our next class.